I am so freaking excited for this haul. You have no idea what you're in for. The most in-depth review of the new Vital Seamless collection. Launching on the 25th of October, 7 p.m. BST time. My link will be in my bio, so if you do use it, let me know so I can personally thank you. It does support me as well, so thank you so much if you use it. Without further ado, let's get into this video because, girl, you better be prepared. You better be prepared for how in-depth this is, okay? I will pop my measurements right here so you guys can know exactly how much I weigh, my height, etc. So when it comes to making the decision for the right size for you, it will be a little bit more easier. I am personally wearing an extra small in all of the Vital Seamless collections just because the material is a little bit more giving and stretchy. As you can see here, it's quite you know, giving, it has a lot of movement, a lot of flexibility, but if you're unsure, always stay true to your size, but if you want a bit more of a tighter fit, go down a size and you will be fine yet again because it is so movable and giving. First color that I'm wearing is the Steel Blue. It does have such a beautiful undertone of blue. It's not just like a steel, it's more of a bluey tone which I absolutely adore and love. This color is wearable, it suits absolutely every single skin tone. I was seeing different girls with different hair colors, different skin tones buy it at the Toronto pop-up and it looked amazing on absolutely everyone. I haven't seen this specific tone of color with any other Gymshark clothing, but the new stuff that's come out and is coming out, it's very, very similar. They're trying to keep like the same tones and patterns throughout the range so you can mix and match. Because what tends to happen on launch dates and release dates is everything sells out real quick. So to prevent you from not getting a full set, you could buy the leggings and buy a different style of top, but the same color. And what I mean by that is, so for example, I am wearing the sports bra and the leggings, which I will show you in more depth. But then it comes with a crop top. Let's say you can't get your hands on the crop top because it sells out for any reason. I have another option for you guys. So here is the still blue ballet top and I'm gonna put it on for you now. There we go, super cute, hide your arms if you're someone that doesn't feel comfortable with your arms. This is the still blue crop top on. As you can see, it isn't as long as the ballet top. The hole so you can place your thumbs in. It is super stretchy and comfortable. Honestly, I've done a whole workout wearing this whole outfit and it feels like I'm wearing nothing on. It is so lightweight. It is so soft and comfortable, literally. It is, you could just tell, look how soft this is. Sometimes Gymshark engraves their logo into the fabric, so it's like kind of stitched in. But on this occasion, it's been pressed onto the Vital Seamless fabric. So my biggest advice would be, is when you're washing your Gymshark clothing, to prevent any tear and wear of the logo, wash it inside out on a very low heat and let it air dry. I made the mistake of putting it all in the tumble dryer and it ruined the logo when it tells me not to do that anyway. Moving on now to the leggings. As you can see they are high waist. The logo is on your left hand side. Camel toe wise I do wear non visible panty line underwear which is essentially these kind of like really not that attractive underwear. They're just seamless underwear. You can buy them from Victoria's Secret. Now in terms of the booty it does have very subtle booty contour as you can see. It is not as predominant as the ombre but it is very subtle which I prefer because sometimes with the ombre seamless the booty contour comes down to my hamstring. Girl, my booty is not that long, okay? As you can see here, it's a dotted pattern going down the quad and then it follows through in the calf region right here. that certain people do and 
and I can appreciate that this will look good on majority of people but personally for me I don't think it looks the best on me it's not my favorite color but I still like it and that's gonna be for everything not everything will be my favorite color not everything will be my favorite style everyone has personal preferences so it has specks of purple it has specks of blue it's combined together it is a little bit more on the blue tone I would say and I'm just gonna go get the ombre if you remember the ombre with the blue I just want to compare if you remember the ombre collection they came out with like a gray mild color into an indigo and as you can see here the tones are pretty much very similar the only difference is I would say the ombre is a touch lighter than the vital love this color super clean super fresh super feminine and the one thing that I also like as well is pink is really in right now everywhere I see all celebrities that I'm watching they are wearing pink and it looks phenomenal on absolutely every single person I wore this at the gym I recorded a video on it for Instagram and everybody was like oh my god when does this collection launch it looks amazing pink looks bomb as hell so just saying, just putting out there. I mean, I look like a Power Ranger. I look like I'm about to go save some cats from trees. Oh, crap. This looks amazing. It looks so powerful. You just look like you're gonna tear shit up. Out of all the vital seamless colors, you cannot go wrong with black. It is a staple, it is safe, it looks good on absolutely everyone. It's a slimming color. You can wear it with absolutely everything as well. I wore this at the Toronto pop-up event on the last day and it photographed so beautifully. It really, really did. You can just never go wrong and it looks good with it. Everything. So even if you bought the black leggings and then bought maybe the pink bra, it would look amazing. Let me tell you something about these leggings. I wore them yesterday, I wore them the day before, and I'm wearing them today. I don't care. They are so amazing with everything. You put a massive hoodie on, it looks good. You put it on with other Gymshark stuff, it looks good. Black just looks amazing with everything. And Honestly, if you can go for any of the leggings that I've shown you, black. You Just trust me. This is what it looks like with the crop top on. Absolutely amazing. Okay, okay, okay. I can see where you're going with this. This is like really trendy. This is a little bit too fashionable for me, you know? I can see the back. The back looks sick with this on. It makes me feel like I, I'm a dancer. You know, like a dancer. Dance. Maybe when I'm doing like a hit session, let me try it out. Okay, I can see where this is going, but am I really gonna wear it? I don't really know, to be honest. I prefer a crop top than a. Proper crop top than a super crop like this, but I can understand where Gymshark is going with this. But personally, it's going to be a bit difficult to style. There is also a thick color, and this is the blush nude marl, and it is a very light color. It is a very, very, it's like a nude pink color. Very, 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 very nude pink. It looks a little bit white on camera, but I'm just going to show you with the pink. It's not white, it's more creamy toned. And love this color as well. It comes in a sports bra and a vest, long sleeve and a t-shirt. It doesn't come in leggings. I believe the reason it doesn't because it was a little bit too sheer. And I think it would have failed the squat proof test. So I'm really happy that Gymshark hasn't just released another color in the leggings just for the sake of it they've kept the customer in mind and made sure that the colors are all squat proof so speaking of squat proof i am now going to do the squat proof challenge
We are now going to be looking at the waistbands and comparing them to the other Gymshark leggings. So as you can see here, you have your Energy Seamless, which is the most compressed material and the thickest band. We now move on to the Ombre, which basically I would say has about a finger, a fingertip less width than the Energy Seamless. And comparing this to the new Vital, the Ombre and the Vital are exactly the same width and height as each other. What I would say though is the Energy Seamless band will not roll and will not be loose at the waist. The Ombre is a little bit loose only because it is a thicker band. So if you're someone who has a tight fit by the booty and a loose fit by the waist, the Vital Seamless will not cause this. If you compare also the Flex, the Flex is low rise. So as you can see, the Vital is almost double the flex. So if you have flex leggings, just imagine double the band. I just wanted to compare the crop tops as well so you are kind of aware of the differences. So this is the ombre and this is the vital seamless. They are pretty much the same. The only thing I would say is if you can look at the band at the ombre and look at the band of the vital, the vital is thicker than the ombre. The vital is also stretchier than the ombre. I would say this is a much thicker material and this is a little bit more lightweight. As you can see, you can kind of tell as well that this is a little bit more lightweight and this is a little bit more sturdy and thick. Um, also, the Ombre doesn't have the Gymshark logo, it has the Gymshark name, but the Vital has the Gymshark logo on the left hand side and not the name and also at the back of the neck. They both have thumb holes here so you can put your thumbs in. And as you can see, the ombre is a more hot pink. The vital is a more subtly baby pink tone. Moving on to sports bras and the vital seam support. I am a 32D and in my opinion, the vital seamless is definitely not supportive at all for me. This is more of a t-shirt bra because it is seamless. You wear it underneath t-shirts and that's why it looks so good when the crop top is on. In terms of support, as you can see, it's quite flimsy, so to support, it's not there. But when you add the crop top, it is much more supportive, so I would wear both together. If you are a girl that has a bigger bust and you are looking for the ultimate Gymshark sports bar to help you with support, I would strongly advise the Elevate bra, which is this. It has a zip here, it has adjustable bras, as you can see here, and it's overall just good sturdy bra and I wear this whenever I'm doing running, any hit sessions, this is absolutely phenomenal. The final thing I wanted to show you is sweat proof. Now I just dashed a bit of water on each of these colours and I just wanted to show you kind of what to expect because I've never done this before but I always get asked and I think it's only fair for you guys to see whether it's sweat proof resistant. So instantly we know that the still color is not the best when it comes to sweat but you have to expect that it is a very light color and whenever there's grays or light colors you will see sweat more often so always bear that in mind it doesn't matter where where you buy your sports bras from if it's gray or a light color you will see sweat much more instantly you can see the black it's literally not even there i'm actually going to add a bit more water so you can see Look how much water I added and it literally, you can't even notice it, it's amazing. You saw how much water I just added. I need to be careful because I'm wearing this today. So this one, not the best. And then we have the indigo colour here. Amazing, can barely see it, literally barely see it. And then you have the pink here, yet again, can barely see it. So that is it guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I kind of covered everything that I needed to cover. If I missed anything out, just comment down below and I will answer as many questions as possible before the release date. Remember my link is in my bio and it will be in my Instagram bio as well. So if you do use it, just let me know so I can personally thank you. I really, really hope you enjoyed this haul. I mean, your girl went in depth. Okay, your girl went in depth. Okay, like I dug a hole and then I just kept digging. 
I just kept digging because I just just wanted to give you as much as possible so you know exactly what you're buying. Um, honestly, my favorite collection to date. It is beautiful, it is lightweight, it is super easy to wear and all the colors are phenomenal. My favorite color, black, then the steel, pink, and then the indigo. More, most wearable, black for sure. Out there, pink for sure. And if you just want to be safe but be out there again still is amazing so yeah let me know which color you liked as well okay so just make sure you are subscribed to this channel and make sure that you are following me on instagram comment down below for any questions that you may have i love you always and forever bye